Welcome to GMAT Math Online Math Prep Videos. In this GMAT Math Online video, we explain how to solve quadratic equation problems. Here are two examples of nonlinear polynomial equations. x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0, and 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus x plus 15 equals 0. Please note two things about these equations as we've written them. First, they both consist of a polynomial on the left and zero on the right of the equal sign. Any polynomial equation can be put into this form. Second, we've arranged the terms of each polynomial in descending order according to the power of the variable in the term. Thus, the order of the powers in the first equation is 2, 1, 0, and the order in the second equation is 3, 2, 1, 0. In quadratic equations, the highest power of the variable is 2. Therefore, the first equation is a quadratic equation, and the second is not. We will look at three ways of solving quadratic equations. All quadratic equations can be solved using the quadratic formula. However, we can also solve these equations by factoring the polynomial or by the process of completing the square. First, we will show how to use factoring to solve an equation. Consider the first equation. x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. The polynomial in this equation can be factored as x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals x minus 1 times x minus 2. Thus, we replace the original polynomial with its factored version x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals 0. This factored polynomial is now the product of two numbers, and the product of any two numbers is 0 if and only if one or both of them are 0. Therefore, we can set each factor to 0, solve for x, and obtain the two solutions to, or roots of, this equation x minus 1 equals 0, so x equals 1, or x minus 2 equals 0, and x equals 2. As a second example, look at this equation. x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x equals 0. Note that this is not a quadratic since the highest power of x is 3. But notice also that the variable x appears in every term so we can factor it out of each term and list it separately. Therefore, in this case, factorization occurs in two steps. x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x equals 0. x times x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. And finally, x times x plus 5 times x minus 1 equals 0. Now we set all three factors equal to 0 to determine the three roots of the original equation. x equals 0, x plus 5 equals 0, so x equals minus 5, and x minus 1 equals 0, so x equals 1. Now let's look at solving equations by completing the square. Consider this equation. x squared minus 6x minus 23 equals 0. This equation cannot be solved through simple factoring but it can be solved through a process known as completing the square. It works like this. Step 1. Move the constant term to the right side of the equation. x squared minus 6x equals 23. Step 2. Take half of the coefficient of x, square it, and add the result to both sides of the equation. x squared minus 6x plus 6 over 2 squared equals 23 plus 6 over 2 squared. Step 3. Simplify. x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 23 plus 9, which equals 32. Step 4. Notice that the left side of the equation is a perfect square. That is, x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals x minus 3 squared. This is by design and this is why the process is called completing the square. To complete the square, we took one half the coefficient of x and squared it. 
Thus the equation now looks like this. x minus 3 squared equals 32. Step 5. Take the square root of both sides. x minus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 32. Note that every positive number has two square roots, one positive and one negative. The plus or minus sign in the solution reflects this. This means that there are actually two solutions given here, one when the sign is positive and the other when the sign is negative. Step 6. Now solve for x and simplify the square root if possible x equals 3 plus or minus 4 times the square root of 2. Solving quadratic equations with a quadratic formula. Any quadratic equation can be solved by using the quadratic formula. This formula assumes the quadratic equation has been put into this standard format. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Where a is the coefficient of the x squared term, b is the coefficient of the x term, and c is the constant term. Of course we assume a is not zero, but either b or c or both can be zero. Here is an example of a quadratic equation given in the standard form. 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals zero. The general quadratic formula for solving any quadratic equation is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. This formula was developed by completing the square for the general version of the quadratic equation. Notice the plus or minus symbol in the middle of the numerator. As with completing the square, this means that there are actually two solutions given here. Notice also that the entire solution is given in terms of the constant terms a, b, and c. Let's plug these values into the equation. If 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0, then the two values for x are given by x equals minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 8 squared minus 4 times 2 times minus 10 over 2 times 2 and therefore x equals minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 64 plus 80 over 4, which means x equals minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 144 over 4. And thus x equals minus 8 plus or minus 12 over 4, which results in x equals minus 2 plus or minus 3. So the two solutions our x equals minus 2 plus 3, which equals 1, and x equals minus 2 minus 3, which equals minus 5. Here's a second example. x squared plus 6x minus 10 equals 0. Plugging into the formula, we get x equals minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 10 over 2 times 1. Or x equals minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 plus 40 over 2 and thus x equals minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 76 over 2 which results in x equals minus 6 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 19 over 2 giving us x equals minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 19. For more practice GMAT problems, see our other videos and go to www.gmatmath.online. And you can get our ebooks GMAT Math Basics, GMAT Math Problem Solving, and GMAT Math Data Sufficiency. Thanks for your interest.